Hello everyone. So the most awaited course for the placements in analog domain is now available on my graphic platform. For those who are meeting me for the first time, let me introduce myself. I am Manshu Agarwal, currently an analog de design engineer at Texan Instruments. I have secured All India Rank 27 in Gate 2022 EC branch. So, if you are looking for a source to prepare yourself for placements in analog domain for companies like Texan Instruments, Synopsys, NXP Semiconductors, and uh, Intel, Qualcomm. Micron, right? So you can uh, purchase this course and prepare yourself. This is the second part of the placement series, right? The first part, the first part was on basic electrical science, and this part is on analog electronics. Okay. So in, this is the second part of the placement series and first part of analog electronics. We will have two parts of analog, analog electronics. This is the first part. So now we will see the course curricula, and I can assure you. In this course, you will get every single interview question and every single written test question that can be. This is our course curriculum for the analog electronics placement course. So this is the part one of the course. Okay. In the part one, we have seen first one is the diode circuits. Okay. This is the chapter one. Then we have seen most more most physics. The complete most physics is there. Every single aspect has been clear to you. Okay. Every single aspect. No other question will be asked to you apart from these these videos. Okay. So this is very in depth analysis of most physics. Okay, then we have the most most biasing and then we have a lot of questions there. 15 interview questions. All these are interview questions. Okay, not written test questions. These are interview questions. So, what kind of questions they, they, they ask you in the interview that is there. Okay, and more, then uh, why biasing is required in most circuits. All the basic questions that can be asked. Okay, then we have numerical problem for uh, written test as well. Okay, apart from that we have um, lecture notes. For every chapter we have lecture notes. Okay, for every chapter. We are getting the videos and lecture notes as well. Okay, and we have seen many, many we have sold many questions. Okay, then we have seen the MOSFET, MOSFET amplifier basics like uh, why do we uh, why, no, why do we need to bias it in saturation region? All the basic things with, with that we have seen. Then we have seen the small signal model. A very different approach. Uh, I have a very different approach. I have given here that you will see. Okay, uh, then concept of port impedance etc. We have seen. Then we have seen the common source amplifier. Very in-depth analysis of common source amplifier. Every single aspect has been cleared of common source amplifier. Okay, you can see the topics. Right. Then in the chapter six we have common drain, common gate, and cascade amplifier. These are not that important, but to solve the numericals you need to know about it. No, no, know about it. Okay. And they can be asked in interviews well, like input, output, impedance, gain, voltage gain, etc. Okay. And then the chapter six is on CMOS inverter. That's that is also a very in-depth analysis. So uh, like people mainly ignore this topic CMOS inverter for analog profile, but uh, this is asked as well. Okay. And whatever that can be asked in analog profile, that is there. Whatever they can ask, that is there in this series. Okay. And uh, then we have bipolar junction transistor. Bipolar junction transistor is not uh, that mainly asked, so that that's why I have given some prerequisites there. So that prerequisites you need to see from some sources. Okay. Then we have the numerical question and some other questions as well. Okay. So this is on BGTs, and then we have some written test questions. Okay. So these are very interesting written test questions. These are four questions. Okay. So these these questions will be very important to you as well. Okay. So this course will give you a complete idea of most. Okay, mainly the complete idea of most you will get here. Diode circuit and BJT you, you will also get most, most biasing, most physics, most amplifiers, common source amplifier, common drain amplifier, common gate amplifier, cascade amplifiers, and very in depth and very different analysis that you doesn't that you don't found in uh, some YouTube lectures or in some books. Okay, so these kind of analysis you will see and real time interview question you will see. We have we already uh, we have always studied with the approach of with the approach of uh, solving the interview questions. Okay, so this is the part one of the course and. So in the part one, what we have covered, we have covered these topics: diode circuit, MOS physics, MOS biasing, MOS amplifier, CMOS inverter, questions on BJT, and some more questions of written test and interview. Okay. And in the second part, we are going to cover cascode amplifier, then current meters, differential amplifier, feedback topologies, frequency response of MOS circuits, op-amp circuits, and oscillators. So these parts will be covered in the part two. Okay. So this is the part one. So uh, it will take you. The part one will take you around 20 days to complete. Okay. Around 20 days. So you can complete it in 20 days. Then after 20 days, within 20 or 25 days, I will upload, upload this part. Okay, part two I will cover within 25 days. Okay, within 20 to 25 days I will cover the part two. So if you have covered the part one, then you will be able to cover the part two as well. Okay then. Okay, so let's meet you in the course.